To deprovision a user, click on Tools, select Deprovision User, click on the gear button, and Deprovision User. We will then enter a username, and we can start the deprovisioning process. From here, we can add an executor to the deprovisioning process. The executor will be the person selected to transfer ownership and will be notified of any actions taken once the actions have been completed. We can also select users to notify about the deprovisioning process once actions have been taken. Now we can get started. Would you like to hide this user in the directory? No, I want to keep this account viewable to other users. You will also see this notes tab on the right where you can enter notes that will appear in the deprovisioning report and select continue. Would you like to reset the user's password? No, I do not want to change the user's password at this time. Would you like to set up an auto reply? No, I do not want to create an auto reply. And the reason for this might be that in the next step, we can choose to delegate the email access to another user. So yes, I would like to delegate email access now. Since Sarah Robinson is the executor, that is the default email address that will appear in this box below. We'll delegate email and continue. And from here, we can choose to transfer the ownership of the documents. Upon selecting yes, it will direct us back to the Google control panel and give us instructions on how to transfer the document ownership in addition to reminding us that Sarah Robinson is the account executor. Would you like to keep the user's sites? Yes. So this will now transfer the sites to another user. Again, the executor is the default placed in the box below. Would you like to transfer the calendars? Perhaps this user has some pending meetings. So we will select yes, and the executor will take over the calendars as well. From here, we can transfer group ownership and membership. We can choose to transfer just the ownership, we can choose to transfer the group membership and ownership at the same time, or we can take no action. Yes, I want to transfer group ownership and membership again to the executor, which will be defaulted in the box below. From here, we will go into my checklist. My checklist is a list of tasks that you need to complete prior to a user departing. We can add tasks such as remembering to retrieve corporate card from our user and click save. Perhaps we have retrieved the building access equipment and the laptop from Gail, but we have not yet retrieved her corporate card, so we would leave that deselected. And now we can choose to archive the account. If we choose yes, this will redirect you to Backupify's website where you can download their application to archive a user's account. For now, we will say no. Would you like to suspend the account? No, we want to leave the account active. If we choose to leave the account active, we can set a calendar reminder for 15 days from now to remind us that the account is still active and needs to be suspended. This will then bring us to our wrap up. We can review the options selected so far for Gail. Anything that is green with a check mark means that the action has been completed. Anything that is blue means you can click back in and change your option. And of course, we can see here that this corporate card retrieval has not been completed. We can come in and now finish and confirm the delete user if we are satisfied with our deprovisioning process.